Welcome back to our channel. In the previous video, we demonstrated a simple wiring process. And in this video, we will continue to give to you on how to complete the configuration of the setting for our Pole LVN series inverter. Once the inverter running normally, we can assess the system running state and the real-time data via the LCD screen and make related settings through the buttons. Let me give to you through the inverter settings step by step. To enter the setting interface, press Set on the main page. The program number will blink and the program 0 is used to exist the setting. Press the enter key will exist the setting interface and turn to the main page. Using the up or down key switch between the setting item and use enter to enter the setting item to set or confirm the selected setting option. Now let's begin the formal setting operation. The setting item 1 is used to set the output power priority. The option UTI means that utility power is preferred to supplied power to the low, only when the utility power is insufficient. The inverter will supply power to the low throughout the inverter. The option SBU means solar power battery to utility power, and the inverter prefer to use solar power for inverter output. When solar power is efficient, the inverter will use battery power for inverter output. When the battery voltage is too low, inverter will switch to utility power. Option SOL means that solar power is preferred when solar power is insufficient or battery voltage is too low. The inverters will switch to the utility power to supply the power to the low. Setting item 2 allowed you adjust the output frequency manually if not connected to the utility power. Why it will match the utility power frequency automatically when connected. For setting item 3, the AC output voltage range can left at the default option since the voltage range of the 120 volt model is small. Setting item 4 determines the voltage at which the inverter will switch from battery power to utility power. If the output power priority is set to SOL or SBU in setting item 1. Setting item 5 set the battery voltage at which the inverter will switch from utility power to battery power if the output power priority is set to SOL or SBU. Setting item 6 is very important. It determines the charging power priority. The default setting SNU allows both solar power and utility power to charge the battery. OSOs means only solar power can be used for charging. CSO means solar power charging is preferred and utility power charging start when solar power is unavailable. And CUB means utility power charging is preferred, with solar power charging only used when the utility power cannot charge the battery. The setting item 7 is the maximum charging current. This parameter includes PV charging current and AC charging current. And the maximum charging value can be charged to 80 Ampere. Setting item 8 allows you to configure the battery type. And each battery type has fixed battery related parameters. By selecting the battery type option, you can quickly complete the battery related parameter configuration. The default option is GEL. It also supports connection to lithium iron phosphine battery. A ternary lithium battery. and the cell leader side battery 
and flow the lead side batteries. If you select a USE, it means that you can optimize setting 9 to 21 related to battery parameter yourself. For my demonstration, I'm using a cell lead side battery which should have been selected as SLD. However, to show the complete process of customizing battery parameter, I have chosen USE for this option. Setting item 9 is for setting the booster charging voltage. Setting item 10 is for setting the duration of boost charge. Program 11 is for setting the flow charge voltage value. Program 12 is for setting the battery over discharge voltage value. Program 13 is for setting the battery over discharge delay heat, which default to 5 seconds. It means that when battery voltage is lower than the over discharge standard value setting in program 12, the inverter will automatically shut down after 5 seconds. Program 14 is for setting the battery under voltage alarm value. When the battery voltage is lower than this value, the booster will sound an alarm. The program 15 is for setting the battery discharge limit voltage value. Unlike program 13, when the battery voltage is lower than this value, the inverter will immediately shut down. Setting program 16 allows for the battery equalization function to be turned on or off. If the connected battery requires to be equalized, setting the ENA enables the battery equalization function. And the setting 17 to 21 can be configured for battery equalization related parameters. Program 17 sets battery equalization voltage. Program 18 sets the duration of battery equalization. And Program 19 sets the extension time of battery equalization. If the battery equalization time reached the reset time in Program 18, but the battery voltage has not reached the preset value of the Program 17, the battery will continue to equalize and Program 19 sets the time for continued equalization. Program 20 can configure the frequency of battery equalization and uh, Program 21 immediately enables equalization. Now we have almost complete all the relevant settings for the battery parameters. Setting item 22 enable the power saving mode. Why setting the 23 enable the automatic restart of the inverter when overload? Setting 24 enables the function of restarting the inverter when it exceeds the temperature limit. Setting 25 can be used to enable disable the booster. And setting 26 determine whether or not active an alarm when the primary power source is blocked. Setting item 27 determine whether or not to enable bypass mode when the inverter is overloaded. And setting 28 set maximum AC charging current. Why this module lacks a phase separation function? Setting 29 is reserved for program setting, which default to single phase. Setting option 13 is designated for configuring the communication address upon establishing a connection with the host computer. It allows you to assign specific numerical value ranging from 1 to 254 to the inverter ensure precise identification of the designated encoded device during the monitoring of multiple devices. Setting 34 is a reserve function that has been merged with the basic output priority program optimization. 
it can be skipped directly. Setting 35 define the voltage value that which the battery recovered from under voltage. Setting 36 is the maximum PV charging current. Setting 37 is the threshold for determining when battery needs to be re-entered the charging cycle after being fully charged. Setting 38 sets the nominal AC output voltage value. Setting 57 sets the preset charging current value for stopping the charge and the inverter will automatically stop charging when the charging current falls below this value. Following complete or final setting, press the set to return to the main page. Now that you have complete all the system configurations, congratulations, you can start enjoying your solar power system. Thank you for watching our operation guild for Pole Mist Solar Inverter. We hope it has provided you with the valuable insight into the setup and operation of our products. If you have any future questions or concerns, please feel free to leave a comment below and we will do our best to provide the assistance you need. For more information about Pole Mister and our products offerings, please visit our website. Thank you once again for watching and we will see you in the next video.